Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to do an office tour as you can probably see by the title. So I've been in this house now for four years and this has been a constant development. I wouldn't even say I'm finished now. There's still some stuff I want to do and it's constantly changing. I'm constantly getting new figures but at the current state it's in it is done. So we'll have a quick pan round and then I'll go into depth about everything and everything. If you're interested if not then you can just click off the video and that's you done. So let's go. So what we'll do is we'll start off with like kind of the main side of the room and then we'll work around and we'll do all the small little little bits around here so let's go so this room isn't very big i'm currently sat on my desk to try and get the whole wall in so here we go so these across here these original pokemon sprites these are actually made in perla beads or hamer beads depending on if you're from the uk or america so obviously i just made these myself i and them if you don't know the crack with them go check them out they are cool so i made them myself because that looked a bit empty up there so i got them Got the Burger King Pokeballs, so these are the ones you got in the like Burger King Happy Meal thing, so I think these are quite rare now to be honest, so keep on hold of them. There is just an assortment of Big Hero 6 figures, I mean, I don't know, all this Toy Story, Little Mac, Ham Toy Story, Pokemon, Dragon Ball Z, Pokemon, GameCube games, Smash Bros, best game there's ever been, ever, Hulkbuster, Tron People, some Amiibos, Small Soldiers, Halo, Mario, Batman, there's a few more Batmans knocking about somewhere. More Toy Story, more Toy Story, more Batman, more Pokemon, Pokemon. Iron Man and Iron Patriot, nope, sorry, Stormtrooper. The Ninja Turtle set, some more Amiibos, Star Fox McCloud that is. Obviously Rex and Toy Story, another Batman, some more Amiibos, Mario, Pac-Man, Mega Man, Star Wars, Pokemon, Gru, Han Solo, Chewbacca, the Darth Maul, Dragon Ball Z again, a Clone Trooper, Monsters Inc. Infinity Figures, Boba Fett and Darth Vader, you've got a bowling pin. And actually, the story behind this bowling pin is when me and Chelsea went bowling one time, they were just selling bowling pins, so we got one. And this here, this is actually Pablo's first ever colour, so this is the one that we bought him with, and it's tiny! So that's why it sits on there, on there. And then you've got Yoda and Obi Wan, as you can tell, I do need to dust because. Well, it's a nightmare dusting in all of that. It honestly is. So on here, you've got the Hot Wheel Batman cars. So you've got, well, yeah, all the cars from the films. Actually, that's the lights out, as you can tell as well. Dust on top of them. But I didn't have time to dust, so I do apologise. Zerg, Buzz, Mr. Potato Head, Baymax in his armour. So as you can tell, there's a bit of a running theme going through this whole room of Pokemon, Toy Story, Marvel, Big Hero 6. Yeah, there's, you can see I like the, a lot of the same things. And it's spread across the whole room, I mean... The giant Baymax there, you can, yeah. Did a video on these, but my Titan figures, so these are kind of like, at the current moment, the whole cast, I think, most of them, at least. So they're all on there. The giant pop Baymax figure, Dark Magician statue. Now, I really like this. This is awesome. So I used to play Yu-Gi-Oh as a kid. I didn't actually play Pokemon. Can't even find Pokemon's there, there. Until about maybe f six years ago. So I was, I was a Yu-Gi-Oh child. Um... But obviously fell in love with Pokemon since, and this is the only thing you go have got at the moment in here. Boba Fett, Captain America shield. Now that is just sat on the floor. There is a alien and another Baymax behind there. So I think I'm gonna put that on the wall here eventually, but I just haven't got around to it since it came upstairs. It just kind of lives there now, and that's that. Got my light stands just stashed in that corner there. In this cupboard here, just a load of equipment, drone, 
old laptop stands and stuff. And up here we have my Warhammer. As a kid I was definitely Warhammer, you yo used to use this stuff all the time. Now a lot of it's in the loft, but I still have this here. And I want to start again, because every time I open this cupboard, I always want to do it, never get around to it. And then every time I open the cupboard, I want to get into it. So, yeah. But yeah if, if you don't know what Warhammer are, they're basically just little figures that you paint yourself. So yeah, I used to paint these myself, which I'm pretty impressed with, to be honest. I used to be... Not too bad, like. So I've my completed orc army there, and I've got a load of Tyranids basically upstairs, and I think there's some in that cupboard over there. And I'm on with painting them. The reason they're not actually out on the top is obviously just dust. I don't want these getting dusty, so in the cupboard, they're nice and protected. And this is my Marvel wall. So obviously Marvel, I got that. It's just a bit of wood painted red. You can get these off eBay. Just search for, like, Marvel wood, and they come up. Someone's just cut them out, and I just painted it red. Uh, the Iron Man hand. So this is actually a, a light... So you can have it on like that, it looks like it's smashed out the wall, it's really cool and it works really well above here. Because the problem with rooms like this is you have awkward spaces like that where you can't put anything in places like up there, above your shelves, above there, the door. So I basically just filled it to the ceiling with what I wanted. Obviously like classic Wolverine, Captain America, Iron Man, Hulk posters, or pop figures. Now they are arranged in a slightly odd manner, there isn't really a reason behind that. Normally that blind is shut 24-7 but obviously I can't film in here when I shut the blind because I've got no daylight. So it's open for the moment, but obviously you don't want to get sun damage on any of the plastic stuff. So it stays shut. Over here we have the printer. Now, this here was something I bought for Chelsea, I think after about two years of being together. And I told her I would one day be able to get her a pug and buy her a nice Range Rover. And that was going to be the lives we lived. And I've got this bit and she doesn't want a Range Rover anymore. So that's kind of what I said I would try and achieve for Chelsea, so it's always here as a little motivator. Obviously Sphero BB-8, you've seen Pablo destroy that in a Pablo video. Filing cabinet for all my board and file stuff, but being organised is the key to just everything, just always be organised. Lego magnets, I love my pug magnet. Now my Wally Lego, I really enjoy this. Now, I bought this box and what I was going to do is actually put my Warhammer in here and have it displayed like this with the lights on, but it's so tall. You know, the figures are already down here, so it looked a bit weird. And I bought this. And it fits perfectly in, and it makes sense because he's got the plant and he needs to protect it. It's just, yeah. So I think that's a really cool little addition on there. Looks cool all glowing up. In these drawers, you've just got all my stationary bits. Got all my camera stuff down here that I need. GoPro and all that in there. Godzilla poster, Baymax poster now. I'm probably going to replace that with either the Spider-Man one or that shield. I'm not sure, I've just not touched it because I was going to put that up and I was going to change the poster and I've just kind of done neither, it's still there. But Godzilla is cool. Obviously I've only bought this just very recently, the 27 inch 5k MacBook, Mac, iMac. Sorry, I had too many Apple stuff going on at the moment. But yeah, I haven't really got a full chance to use this, I haven't got any software on it yet, but so far so good. I've edited a couple of videos and it's great just sitting up here, although this chair here, it's just a stool with a Pokemon cushion on it. It's not very good. So I need a proper desk chair, so that's another thing that I'm going to have to get so I can sit and relax. And Battery charger, GoPro just sits there while it charges in the back of here. Snorlax, he's got a little squishy belly. <laughs> Pac-Man coaster, because you don't want to be leaving rings on your desk, so it sits under there. Thanos, now I usually watch like YouTube or watch movies, Netflix and stuff on there while I'm editing. Sometimes just put my laptop on here and then use that screen. It just depends on where my laptop is really, if it's charged. Groot, he's just holding my laptop. Charizard, because he's cool. Little Mac, because he's cool. You got the Pug statue head that my dad bought me, which is really cool. It kind of awkwardly sits here. Actually, it's a not too bad spot, but I wish we had somewhere slightly better for it, somewhere down in the living room or the kitchen, but there's no space for it, so it just sits here. Rubik's Cube, which I can do, by the way. And this here is Dom's Dodge Charger from Fast and Furious, which is like, I love American muscle cars, and I would one day love to have something along these lines, a Plymouth, a Mustang, anything like that but they are so hard to get over here and they are so expensive maybe one day a big r2d2 big bb8 obviously the guardians figures down here the titan figures just the same as up there they just couldn't fit on one shelf so they split between the two now behind these as you can maybe see original xbox playstation playstation 2 360 wii gamecube and there's an n64 just took behind there now all of that stuff i would love to be out on display like on here or up there or on a shelf or something but they're so big and square in this room as you can see with the door open these shelves need to be exceptionally small it's like although that's a big space and you look at it like that but it's really useless space so i've had, had these in here and this is kind of really the only other space and this, I guess, that I could have put them on. And it just really wasn't the space. So 
one day we'll get a big office and everything will be out displayed and it'll be amazing and i've got a lot of stuff in the loft a ton of lego in the loft which i would love to be out on display but again just don't have the space in here at all and then in this side we've just got a load of computer stuff wipes and stuff to keep the screen clean uh, there's my tyranids there and a load of just books and stuff there's my engineering book yay here's my supreme cable management skills because there isn't actually any space tucked behind there it's flat to the wall but from above here you can't see any cables there's so um you know it's it's as good as it's gonna get but obviously these lights here you can change them to whatever colour you want, which is pretty cool. You can have them, I think, strobing. You can have them slowly change your colour. So, yeah. Then we have the whiteboard, which obviously I just write little notes down. Chelsea owes me a lot of money. Little notes, pins and stuff, all the things I need to do. We'll get back to that there. Minecraft sword, just something to go above the door, really. Um, Destiny posters. Now, just everything's just a perfect fit. So, yeah, they just go there. I did love Destiny 1. I tried Destiny 2 and it just, I'm not even going to get into that now. So I've got an RS Quattro badge here which I think is just a bit of a nice touch and this here, I can get it out, was me driving my dream car. Now that specifically, not that car, not that specific car because I wouldn't have them wheels and I wouldn't have that colour and I wouldn't have that headlight so I'd get the facelift but let's not get into that now, that or that, that or that. One day I will pursue my dream. God, Ugh. see that stuff, that stuff really comes off there because I've just kind of broke it. So yeah guys, that's just a quick tour of my office. Everything I've got in here, kind of a little just explanation of each, I guess. And yeah, this is me. This is my office. This is where I spend a lot of time actually now. So I'm going to get myself a comfy chair. I spend plenty of time in here. I need some kind of aircon, to be honest. I need some kind of cooling fan. So I'll invest in one of them. Like I say, it's never done and once I get some new stuff, Christmas is going to come around by this time. So I'll be getting some more stuff. Some of this stuff probably get demoted to the loft. It's just a constant rotation. But this is it for now. Hope you guys did enjoy. Hope you guys made it this far. If you did, do please drop a like. As always, people, peace out.